Welcome, this project is motorized refrigerator magnet gears. First a disclaimer, this project does use magnets. Magnets can be hazardous if ingested. Uh, so please, if you have any children around, secure your magnets. Only let them near um, devices with magnets in under supervision. Make sure your magnets are securely adhered to a print via glue or pressing or glue and pressing. And of course, anytime you work with magnets, it's at your own risk and you should only use magnets if you absolutely know what you're doing, are capable of supervising and willing to accept any risk. So anyway, um, this project I started out on Thingiverse. Here's a link to the Thingiverse page that I found. And this thing had several different refrigerator gears and I decided to try to make some of them myself and then I decided I wanted to customize them and make some special ones. Let's talk about some of the special gears that I made. Well, the first one, Right here is this crank here. This one adds a second bearing so that the, the uh, handle bends real well. Makes a nice way to turn it. It's more convenient than turning via this handle. Um, these gears all have a skateboard bearing in the middle and a magnetic base on the back. Uh, the original gears just had a single magnet base. I added this triple magnet base uh, because I found that some of the bigger gears were sliding off my whiteboard. The nice thing about this is that you can reposition them all you want. Put a gear where you want a gear. So some of the other gears I made. Well, I made these uh, swirly gears, this one and this one, by mixing in another thing that I found on Thingiverse that had some swirly stuff in it. I made, um, I made this star gear and I made this heart gear by mixing in some shape generators from Thingiverse. Uh, this kind of bladed gear here also came from a shape generator on Thingiverse. Um, the gears that spell out my daughter's names, that is Thingiverse's uh, uh, font generator. Um, so I've made lots and lots of these special gears. Because of the bearings, it all turns pretty fast. I mean, if you pull one of them by itself, it'll just spin and spin and spin. But that wasn't quite enough, so I also added a motorized gear. Let's place him over here. Now you've noticed I have a piece of paper towel under it. That's because this whiteboard is very slippery. This gear weighs kind of a bit and it'll slide otherwise. The paper towel gave it a little bit extra grip. I'm going to try to spray some kind of non-slip surface on the back of the motor gear and we'll see how that works. But for now we have to put up with the paper towel. And here's a controller made from a driver that I got from Pololu together with an AT Tiny 85 microcontroller and a pot. And it allows us to vary the speed. So there it is, motorized. You can crank it up. Should be around 700 RPM at this point. Now you might ask what happens if someone grabs a gear pop right off like that. So what I did is I also used magnets here. This forms kind of a magnetic clutch. So there are magnets here in this rotor and magnets here in the gear. Oops, see that's the sliding I mentioned. Let's get them on the paper towel. Slow them down a little bit. So the way the magnetic clutch works is it's good enough to turn, but if something stops it, it'll just kind of skip like that. And that prevents someone from getting their fingers in it and, uh, you know, getting a finger pinched by high torque. Anyway, that is the project. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this sort of thing interests you, then please subscribe and I will make more of them. Thank you.